You know, I was up in the Saican Black Hills camp working for the old Zeke Cross. This was my own piece of country. I was cook and crew and boss. The afternoon of that there year was coming on, as I recall, meaning summer had hit the cap rock and slid right down into fall. Days was warm and pleasant, though the nights was kind of sharp. I had a nice snug little cabin to keep the cold wind off my tarp. The aspen leaves were turning yellow, bees was buzzing around the hive, and just one of them kind of days when it was great to be alive, so. I'm a jogging along that morning, looking out beneath my hat, I thought I'd make a little circle down towards Silver Dollar Flat and maybe brand some big slick yearling with the address of this farm because I sure did need to limber up my old stiff roping arm. You know, I'd been kind of traveling down this little open draw and I come around the corner and I was shocked at what I saw. I just kind of pulled up there gawking and my eyes went plumb agog. There's this big old brindle he bear digging ants out of a log. My heart commenced to pounding and I couldn't get no air and I knew I'd never have a better chance to rope myself a bear. <laughs> so I'm trying to jerk my rope down. My old horse began to dance and hell, old Bruin, he ain't heard me. He's still busy digging ants. I got my rope tied hard and solid and I built that loop with care and I let out a cowboy war hoop and I built right to that bear. Well, this old beast heard me coming and he beat it for the trees. There weren't no moss growing on him and he sure did split the breeze, but I just pulled right in behind him and like that Bible story told, cast my bread upon the water. It come back a thousandfold. <laughs> well, I pitched the slack right at him and I turned my pony neat and I heard him grunt and hit the ground as I jerked him off his feet and and I told him towards the timber, just the way it should be done. Hell, there wasn't nothing to it. Roping bears is lots of fun. <laughs> and the timber, I got busy dodging limbs and brush and such, and I ain't had time to check up on my cargo very much. But I'm going to start by breaking him to lead, at least that's what I hope. And I look back and hear that bear come. <laughs> just like that, right up my rope. Well, things sure started looking different, so I tells him, okay, Bruin, I'll start paying more attention to this little job I'm doing. I'll just zig and zag and circle some. Now, you just follow me, because I'm about to bash your brains out on some big old jack pine tree. So I zigged and zagged and circled, but it seemed to no avail. Next time I checked, old Teddy's right behind my horse's tail. About that time while my old pony made a funny little jump and that old bear commenced to climbing up that rope across his rump. And I yelled and squalled and hollered and I slapped him with my hat. But that old bear, he's plumb determined he's going to get up where I'm at. <laughs> you know, I've known a lot of fellers in the hills and on the plains and nobody ever told me I was over blessed with brains. But it didn't take no Einstein with no special high IQ or no call from God to tell me what that bear was going to do. Now, I know a coward's way out's a bad one in most anybody's book, but that's the only route left open now, so that's the one I took. I just bailed off and checked it to him, but a big rock broke my fall. <laughs> Old boy, I says, it looks to me like you just bought her all. And they went crashing through the timber while I realized, of course, that I just lost a damn good saddle and the company lost a horse. <laughs> and how's a man supposed to tell it with the boss standing there? You took a plum good horse and saddle and just gave him to a bear. <laughs> you know, these thoughts and lots more like them was a running through my mind as I went limping down that cow trail trying to leave that wreck behind. My clothes was sort of tattered and I'd lost some chunks of hide, but my body wasn't hurting near as much as was my pride. And I heard a noise behind me and the sound began to swell and back the way that I'd just come from and I wondered what the hell. <laughs> and I see my horse a coming, stepping lively down the slope. 
And that old bear's up in my saddle, got a loop built, swinging my rope.